Hello, welcome to Wakeda where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Fashel Ochet. Today we want to see, you can see the structure, that it has been properly modeled, analyzed, designed at the same time, interaction of all the members have been taking place. But now that this one has been done, there is need for us to do what we call detailing. Now when it comes to slab detailing, we have done a lot on slab detailing in ECDEL. So if you want to learn how to detail your slab, it's very important to go to our ECDEL channel and watch how to detail your slab. And in case you have not subscribed to this uh, channel, I want to say you should subscribe. By doing this, you are encouraging us to do what? To do more videos that will help you and also help others. At the same time, don't forget to click on what? On the like button. So today, we want to see how this, our beams, our V beams can what? Can be detailed that in such a way that when they handle your drawing at sight, you discover that your dimension, everything with what will be clean and clear. And there's no another software that we are going to use than the software called Stonebridge Template Detailing. So you can see Stonebridge Detailing Template is a catalog which we are going to be using. We have used the same uh, software to do what? To detail our slab. So we are going to use it to teach you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to, how to, to teach you how to detail your beams in such a way that even anywhere you are in the country, there is no even though you do not print it by yourself, that at times you discover that some structural engineers, after the, um, their arrangement of their beams, you now notice that by the time they go to print, they have to do some adjustments before they can print out the proper drawing. But in this case, once you are able to use Stonebridge, I can bet you, anywhere you send it to, let them just go and print it. There is no need of you to do any editing. So therefore, to reduce your stress of that, that you have confidence in your drawing, what you are going to be using was this Stonebridge detailing template catalog to do what? To detail our beam. In case you don't know about this software, please watch our slab, how we have used this software to detail our slab. At the same time, watch, continue to watch this, thing, this video to the end, whereby we are going to use to detail our, to teach you how to detail your beam using the software. As you can see in this place, we have a different foundation based on the structure. So you can see from here, we have building on what? On pile foundation. We have building on slab raft foundation. We also have building on what we call white strip foundation. We have on what? Part foundation. We have also for the uh, steel detailing templates and also beam on beam raft uh, foundation. So all of this, based on this structure we have designed, as you can see this one, this what? This is a, uh, a part foundation. So since it's a part foundation, we are going to be making use of this part foundation example to do what? To detail our our beam. So therefore, let's click on it and wait for it to come up. As you can see, as you can see, it has what? It has come up. So therefore, sorry, let me delete this. Let me remove this. Let me remove this. Now, this is how you will see it. So once it comes up, so this is the example given to us. It's expected that our detailing of our beams should be in this format. So as you can see, I bet you by the time they print out this drawing, in fact, it's going to be wow because everything has been what? Scaled. So the size, if you're able to put your beam inside this, uh, inside this sheet, I bet you, you are good what? Good to go. So how do you do that? That's what we want to teach you today. So therefore, the first thing we are going to do, haven't opened this place like this. Once we have opened it like this, the next thing you are going to do is to now export your detailed drawing, portal detail. So and once you have done that, it's definitely give you something of this, uh, sorry, something of this uh, nature. So you can see it now. Now in portal structure, portal detail, if you print it like this, definitely you can see it from experience. But everybody knows that. So if you go and print your work like this, it's a what? It's a mess. So therefore, how do you now detail this one? All you need to do is to copy this and take it to your Stonebridge detailing template. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to, since for the sake of this training, I'm only going to copy a few and see how we can use it to detail it, even though not all, but just to show you a sample of how you can use it to detail your slab. So therefore, let's copy this. Let's copy this. Let's copy everything here. Let me just copy only a few. This, all right, right click, come to clipboard, then click on copy. Then since I've done that, I go to my stone bridge here. So I'm going to paste it inside this place. So you also clipboard and click on what? On paste and I wait for it to come up. So you can see it. It has what? It has come up. So this is it. So you can see it. You can see it here. You can see automatically it has reduced your work to what? To 85%. So you can see it now. So it, the dimension, everything has been properly adjusted. So accurately what? Adjusted. So this dimension you are seeing here, we are not going to touch it. Automatically it has scaled it up. 
in such a way that it's not too small and it's not too big, accurate dimension. So that is that. So now, how do you now uh, panel it? How do you now put it in sheet for you to do what? To print it out. So that's what we also want to teach you. So as you can see, it has been done. So let's now go and copy our example to now detail our own. Please listen very, well, very, very well at this junction. It's very, very important. Very, very important. So I'll copy this, copy this sample, then copy it, copy this sample and take it to where I want to detail my I want to detail, let me see, let me put it, uh, let's say, let me keep this one here. So since this one, I'm, this is one I'm using as an example, all I need to do, first of all, let me do this. You copy this, what I say, you copy this uh, sheet, not the drawing. You copy this drawing, you copy it, then let me copy. I copy this, then I keep it here. So can you see it now? I'll keep it there. Let me bring this one a little bit closer. I bring it here. Yes, very good. So now, please listen at this point. At this point, when it comes to um, beam detailing, you don't scale the drawing and you don't scale the sheet. What I say, you don't scale the drawing and you don't scale the sheet. So you have to put your drawing, your beam, inside. If it's too much, the beam length is too much, what do you do? You cut it. And there's a rule when it comes to cutting of your, of your beam. You want to section your beam. There's a rule that guides it. So we have, I hope we are going to see that here. Even if we don't see it, I'm going to explain that uh, rule to us. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to pick this, pick this one, this particular one, first one, this is the beam one. I do what? I move it. I'm not going to copy it. I move it. I position it very well inside. Use it now. I position it very well and also come to this place, pick another one. Now looking at this, what are we having? We are having two white sitting top, two white down, the same thing here. So what do I do? I, I just need only one of it to do what? To show my what? My detailing. So that is that. I move this. Come to this place. Move it. Sorry. Click on move. I move it. Please listen and watch what we are doing. Now if I position it here, you can see it's out. So what I do, what I will do now, since it's like this, I can leave this one inside here. Yes. It can be here. It can be here. Then I carry this drawing this one and move it and move it here to show that yes it's for this one like this like this or it depends on you I will together it depends on you if you like you can let me say undo let me undo it undo it all right so if I, I cannot check okay if this one will not enter fully let me see which one can enter yes this one can enter let me pick this one so you can see it now if you want to now think which one will enter if you don't want to cut but for me I don't want to cut it I don't want to cut it, so I'm going to name it in such a way that it will be okay. I will leave it like this. That's been five. Then carry this one again. Carry this one. Then I come here. Come to this place. Move it. So everything depends on you how you want it to be arranged. So now this one I've entered successfully. Let me adjust this one. Let me move it closer. Let me move this one. A little bit closer. Yes, that's fine. So that another one can enter. Let me look for the short one. Here, I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to pick this one. Let me see if it will enter. If not, we'll find a way around it. Okay, this one enter. Very good. This one enter. So I'll put this one here. Then since they are of the same dimension, two white system top, two white system down, and the same thing with this one, I remove this one. I don't need it. This is the only thing they need. So you can see it has successfully what? Successfully entered. How together? So it's successfully entered. So now the next thing we still have space here. I have to look for another one. This one I don't need it because I've already have this sample of it. So I'll come here and pick this one again. And pick this one. Move it. You can see. By the time you are done with this, you discover that at the end your drawing will come out so wonderful. So with this one, we also need this one. This another one, beam six. I also move it. I carry this one. I come here and paste it. Please watch. So you can see it now. So the same thing like this one, so you can see what I need to do now is to match the properties of my dimensions. So click on this one, then come here and match my properties. So I begin to click on this. Likewise, this one, since they are the same thing, let me check if they are the same thing. Yes, the same thing. So I match this ones. I match this with this one. So you can see what you are doing. By so that your work will be neat. As we have said, good modeling good analyzing good design and also even having done your interaction design, inter interaction with your system or with your designs 
and yet poor detailing we said it can still lead what to collapse when your details are not clear for the engineer at site to do what to read them for proper execution so are we together so it can still lead what to collapse that is why as a structural engineer we advise you to make use of this software which will indeed help you and also even yourself to give you what a good sound sleep so that we'll not be thinking hope that as uh, design the engineer will be able to read it at site so that is that good and then what else again okay in terms of this one we are done and not only that let me check check my beam i'll take the sample of this beam beam label sorry i'm not supposed to click on move i copy this i copy the sample copy it bring it here this might be one so i remove it 450 by 450 okay it's accurate so the same thing i copy this this one becomes my what my beam two Sorry, beam 5. So I name it as what? Beam 5. This is my beam 5. I name it as what? Beam 5. Do you see it now? And then I delete this one. So now it's 230. So it's 230. I also adjust it. I adjust this one. Sorry. I adjust this one. Let's wait for it. Let me adjust it. So it's what? It's 230, not 225. 230, rather. 230. Yes, I click. Yes, this one. Let me adjust this one too. The beam 1. This is a 230. 230 all right so that is that so i also come to this place so you see very very fast is because we are using this one as a training that is why i'm taking my time to do what to do all of this so now this is my beam 2 sorry this is my beam 2 i click on it sorry i click on it i mean what's what beam 2 i name it as 2 then once i've named it as 2 then this one i delete so i go together so now i move this one i position it properly so you discover that at sight, even the owner of the job will be so what? So happy with you. So let me copy this. Sorry. It's coming up this time. It's somewhat slow. It's somewhat slow. Okay. So I also copy this one. Copy this one from here. I also put it here. This one is what? Beam 3. So I put it here. And then I name it as what? Beam 3. Sorry. Beam 3. Beam 3. Very good. So I do what? I remove this one. So at the end of your project, of your de design, you discover that your architect will be so happy with you and can be proud of what? Of you. Is that okay? This is beam 4. So what do I do? I, I did this one as what? My beam 4. Beam 4. And don't forget, your beam and column layout has to be aligned with your beam 1, beam 2, and the rest. Is that okay? So, and in case you don't want to make use of this, and this is what you have, all you need to do is to also click on this one, the one you have, and match the property. Automatically, it will be okay. Is that okay? But I want everything to just be like, what's my sample? Which give me what? Confidence in my world. This beam 6. So, I can delete this one, and then bring this one here. Copy this. This one here, and bring it here. And name it as what? Beam 6. So, beam 6. Beam 6. Very good. So, you can see it now. So with this one now, so this one, let me adjust this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Yes, this one. Very good. And very good. So you can see with this one, I'm done with this. I'm done with this one so I can move. Let me move this one. Shift this one. Let me shift it. Or another way also, in order instead of you to be copying all the time, to be uh, highlighting this one to copy, let me show you something. You can just have samples on ground that you can be using. Let me remove this. That you can be using. So now it's like this. I can now put this one here. So you can see. So the next one is just to copy this one and shift. Is that okay? So let me remove this one. Let me shift this one a little. Good. So this is what I'll be picking now. This one, that's what I'll be picking now. So therefore, let's come to this place and do what we need to what to do. So let me copy only this. This might be seven. I did the same thing. Yes, top, top, and this one. Yes, very okay. So I'll copy this. I'll move it rather. I'll remove, I'll move this. Inside the box. Position it well. As I said, you don't scale the your beam the design and you don't scale your sheet this is sheet this one is the sheet you don't scale it when it does when it comes to beam you don't scale the drawing and you don't scale the sheet but when it comes to maybe your color uh, column layout your foundation layout all other ones aside this particular one you can scale the sheet the same thing as i said you can scale the sheet not the drawing do we get it you can scale the sheet not the drawing but when it comes to beam, you don't scale the sheet, you don't scale the drawing. Do we get it now? So that is that. Then I also pick this one. I also pick this one. Or let me just use this one because of to reduce this uh, 
to reduce the period of this video let me just pick this one to show you what i want to show you is that okay let me pick this one so the same way you do the rest you follow it based on your arrangement that's how you also follow this one so now if, you, if i carry this one let me check you see the same thing the same thing the same thing the same thing okay so that means i only need, need this of this section only one so i'll click on this click on this then let me move it let's assume this is my beam seven now let me see Okay, this is beam 7. Let me assume this one I'm picking now is my beam 8. Do you see it now? My beam 8. See my beam 8 here. Is that okay? And looking at this, you discover that it has exceeded, it has gone out. Isn't it? It has gone out. So what do I need to do? I need to cut this beam. Is that okay? I need to cut this beam. So if I put it here also, the same thing. I need to cut it. It's not entering fully. And according to this, we are not to allowed to scale the drawing we are not also allowed to scale this sheet and this particular beam have to enter this place so what do i do i need to cut it so let me say let me assume this let me assume this let me position it here i'm coming okay let me undo it let me undo it okay let me shift this one a little so these are the things you need to check let me move this one let me move this sorry let me move this to this very close okay and also let me move this let me move this to this okay let me move it let me move it closer okay so now i have that so i can now go back and pick this one so by the end of this you discover that your work will come out neat anywhere they take it to anywhere in the world your work will come out wow so now let me see i position this one here okay all right now this is what I want to show you. When you are cutting your section, it's advisable not at the... The rule says that you don't cut at the support. Is that okay? At least away from the support. If time permit, if the joint permit, you can, it's what? At the center. But you have to show, like this one, you can see there's a beam resting here. This place, there's a, uh, this is a primary beam. There's a secondary beam who is resting on this place from this side. So all I need to do is to now cut this my section. Is to cut this section. So how do you do that? Excuse me, how do you do that? Let me quickly show you that. So all I need to do is to come to my express tool. Is that okay? But before then, I need to cut this to show that. So like go back to home. Let me take this. I need to explode this. I need to explode what? I need to explode this. So let me explode this very, very close. Let me explode it here. Sorry. Let me explode it here. Also the same thing. I'm coming. Um okay. Let me now explode, explode this drawing so that I'll be able to trim. So I click on E X P L O. Then you can see that appear. Click on it. Click on this one and then enter again. It has been exploded. So what I can do, I can now do what? Trim this place. Without that, you will not be able to do what? To trim this off. So I do this. Just watch. Then I trim this. So it has been, you can see that it has been what? It has been separated, isn't it? So it has been separated. For me, I don't really value this. I don't need this one. I can remove it. I don't really need it. I don't need it. Yes. So now all I need to do is to move this. Don't forget it's what? Beam. So this is, you see this one is beam 11. I'm using it as what? As example. This is beam 11. So I click on this one because I'm moving all of this. I'm moving all of this. So I come here. I click. I move this one. I move it and I position it where? Um, I position it very well here. Good. I position it very well here. So we're supposed to have moved this, sorry. We're supposed to have moved this also. So let me undo it because it's very, very important. Very, very what? Important. Very, very important. It can never be overemphasized because we need it to help you in your what? The engineer at site. So I also move this one. I need this one. I also need this one. What else again here? Okay, nothing. So, all right. So I click on this one. I move it. So by the time you finish this drawing, I bet you it's going to be what? It's going to be wonderful. So I click on this. I position it here. So you can now see that it has what? It has entered our drawing. Isn't it? It has entered our drawing. So what do I, what I need to do? I need to show what? The continuity. You know, your cutting. So I click on this express. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. I come here. What? Break line symbol. So I click on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I click on it. I come to this place. From here to this place then move to the center or anywhere you want the cut to show you can see it here so you can see it so all i need to do is to come to home 
or I press L, enter, and come to this place just to have a sign of a cut to reduce it. Come to this place, escape, then enter again to this place. What do I do? I trim this place off. I trim this place off. I trim this place. I trim this place. Then I remove this. I remove this. So you can see it now. So you can see our drawing. So all I need to do is to copy this. Is to copy this one. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Sorry. Okay, it has come up. So now all I need to do is to do what? To copy this. From which point? From this point for me. From this place. And also come to this place. And show that this is a cut. And position it here. So you can see it. So now, with this, we are done. So all I need to do is to just match my property. So this is how you go about it. These are the key things you need what? You needed to, to know. So I also match this property. Match this one. Also, this is my dimension. I will adjust the dimension. I have to adjust the dimension. Also, this one. Click on it. Match the property. Match the property. So you don't need to follow your drawing up and down. To see if you are in course of printing, there's need for you to what to edit the dimension in such a way that it will be clear at sight. Once you are able to do this, you are good what good to go. And as I said, in case you have not subscribed to Ekide channel, I want to say you should do what you should do so and subscribe. By this, you are what encouraging us that we should do what we should do. We should do more. So therefore, if that has been done, said and done, all I need to do is also to copy this this one also and begin to. This is what this is beam seven. So I name it as what my beam seven. So this is how you go about it. So let's quickly complete this. Let's quickly complete this. As I said, you don't scale your drawing and at the same time you don't scale your sheet. This is beam 7. Alright. Beam 7 and then I remove this one. I remove this. So also I come to this place. Then please watch this one. Beam 7. So what do I have here? This is beam what? Beam 11. Isn't it? Beam 11. So this is the beginning of beam 11. I click on what? Beam 11. Then that is that. I also come here and click on what? Copy it and bring it here. Sorry. And bring it here. Depending on your arrangement, beam 11. Also, I remove this. But beam 11 what? 11 continuation. So if you like, put stop then. Continuation. Is that okay? Continuation. Do it now. So this is how you do your detailing. Using a what? Stone bridge detailing template so you can see by the time you go to print it it's going to be what wonderful what i say it's going to be wonderful so this is how you go about it and in case you have not clicked on like button i want to say you should please do so and click on what like button and also subscribe not only that don't forget we also have what we call Ekdel mentorship class whereby we train specially beyond here you can see on this one we are only concentrating on how to detail your beam but when it comes to that you can even see on this one we are trying to rush to reduce what the length of this uh, video but when it comes to mentorship class we go express time time does not what stop us from doing our training so i would advise you if you want to know more to enroll on ekidel mentorship class and at the same time we have what we call ekidel group whereby other engineers come together to see how they can solve each other's uh, problem in case you are having any challenge and you are in that group you can play post it because of your design and other engineers will play attend to you to help you solve the problem and in case you have the idea to another person's question why not that's why you're in that group for you to also contribute your own idea all of this to see that you can see a way where we can make this world a better place for every one of us when it comes to engineering so thank you very much till i see you then where we'll be talking about how to detail your foundation layout as i said finally when it comes to detailing using this uh, software called stonebridge you don't scale your beam and you don't scale your sheet but every other ones can be scaled and what can be scaled is what your sheet which is this one is which is this one this particular one this one i highlighted is the one that can be scaled in any other one but generally your drawing you don't scale your drawing but you can scale your sheet only for other ones except that of beam so for the beam as you can see i did not scale my drawing at the same time i did not scale my sheet but if i am to do what they call it um foundation layout and maybe this one is too small what do i do i also for example let me show you let me close you as a roundup let me show you this. Oh, sorry. Let me show you this. All right. So let me quickly show you this. So you can see that time I picked this sample. 
isn't it? I picked this sample. That's why this software is, is, is for you to use each of them as your sample. If I want to do for detailing now, slab detailing, I'll come and pick this uh, sheet with this uh, detail to do my own. And at the same time, when it comes to beam, when it comes to beam, what do I do? Sorry, uh, column. The same thing, I'll come here and pick this particular sheet to in order for me to do what? To detail my column. Use this one to detail my column and also use the sheet. So you can uh, uh, scale all these ones. All these ones can be scaled. The, all these sheets can be scaled. As I said, don't scale the drawing. Anything drawing, don't scale it. But you can scale the sheet. But when it comes to beam, you don't scale the drawing and you don't scale the sheet. Just that what I have done up here is what you are going to do when it comes to your detailing of your beam. So thank you very much. Till I see you next time on this particular uh, detailing called detailing of your what? Structural members. So thank you very much. Till I see you then. I remain your friend.